This is Odin's. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Head. Look, clearly that's Tear. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Head? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of runes together. Peace, unity, hope, other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. See anything? You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Tell us Balder is the son of Freya. He is! 
It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Boulder and Freya... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Hey, tell me Balder's vulnerability. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely. I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, but back when I figured out Balder's weakness. Come here! Yes, lad? You just said you figured out Balder's weakness. Did I? But Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slide. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow, too. Watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Drago. See? How inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. There. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. No, oh, quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of it. Reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weeping. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. Ah, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah, well, boy, right behind you. Now we just need to figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. Atreus, follow me. I got distracted. Tears rune. This is it. Place. Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. The 
tree. We're underneath the realm travel room. But why is the floor on the ceiling? Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh. Right next to the Udenon door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like more giant. Whatever it here did for them must have been big. Whoa, who are they? This is the rune for Jotunheim. That's right. And look! We're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. It's moving! What's moving? Everything! <laughs> Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All right! Do you... what now? I think they're attacking. Want me to read them? Boy, on the statues. I see them. It says void. Hmm. Ominous. Go on. Read.
time to do what you do, brother. Leave them in peace. Obviously not referring to us. We should look for more like this.
for one never doubted. Piece of the language cipher. Good. Until gods grow good. Could be quite a wait. Nah. They're just waiting for us. Flip the temple. Yes, sir. What? Just agree to stop saying flip the temple. It's starting to sound normal. Brothers, I know what I promised. But in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. your legs, brother. He knows. Just try to be helpful. I'll be quite happy to be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That's a plus. There, on the left. I think we can climb back up to the realm travel room from there. See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Yodenheim. Do you hear that, brother? Lad's found his equilibrium. 
What's that mean? It means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. Ha! I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look! The tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore. What have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great Aldumblazadas. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this. In the panel in Owen's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. So you're saying Tyr Shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the World Tree. And you're thinking, to reach the secret path to Jotunheim, that's what we need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. March, you'll find him. If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find out. This is where two step beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith head. This is incredible! How can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great! Look! The tower! I knew there was something down here! Amazing! How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between! Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that! It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard Peak! But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening. Is it moving? It's moving. It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling to your spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. Oh, no, this is 
us next. I do not know. Oh no! We're back in hell? Oh dear, here they come. Focus up. Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence, the stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Hmm. We've seen these runes before, but it's the kind I still can't read.
You fellas sure love to make a racket, don't you? I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. Any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. But you've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, bit of a long shot. For years, I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> he wanted me to build a... <laughs> he showed it to me, you see, and I... <laughs> the coin. Sir, will you... Excuse me? Oh. Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of box-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the oh. lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! We better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. But now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the worst. Anything you need to do, I'd do it now. Just some sage advice. Once more to the horn! It might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? 
By the by, he's no wild about it either. So, are we really doing this? Letting the serpent swallow us? You do not have to come. Well, I'm not gonna miss this. This is a good idea? No. Well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in a giant's belly either. How about you, father? Never one that was not trying to eat me. You really should expect that sort of response at this point. Funny. I used to dream about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Ah, smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. A bit like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. There's something down there. <sighs> the water kind of burns in here. That is water, isn't it? Aye. Maybe if that...
Mimir, any idea where Odin hid your eye? No. It's not like I can still see through it. It's an eye. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. Travel run is here too. You want to go? How's it feel, Mimir? Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally! We're going to Yudna! There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term, tempting fate? So how do we get back out? We signal. Going on. Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good. Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? 
Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel? <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. Oh, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do... This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> I can feel this. Oh. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh, no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now.
hear the wind. We are moving. That arrow? Vulgar punch? The mistletoe? In the quiver strap, yes. The mistletoe harmed him. Freya said it was wicked. He's more than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. No, woman! You cannot! He means to kill you! You can't stop me! No one can! Where is he? I don't care if he kills me! I will protect him! I will not let him die! How touch it. This will all be over soon! Shut up, 
Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Ironic, uh, isn't it? What? Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa- I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness, we can build something new. <laughs> We can. Because I will never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole. If seeing me dead will make things right, 
I won't stop you. I know. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. 
but I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits.